and welcome to Pitch and Dave News. My name is Tato Skona and today uh, we are with Dr. Fanzail. We are bringing to you a new series talking about the health features of, of pigeons. Um, Dr. Fanzail will be sharing with us throughout the, uh, the season of, of a health talk with him about uh, the different kinds of diseases, um, food and medication and how you can equip yourself in preparing your pigeons to be healthy and to perform at their highest level. Stay tuned and don't miss any of these episodes. Good morning, it's Dr. Van Sale again and the topic for today will be coccidia or coccidiosis in raising pigeons. Coccidia is canker, a protozoal disease. All pigeons will be uh, susceptible to coccidia, especially when they're young. Does not matter if your lots are dry, uh, grit floor or whatever, your pigeons will be exposed to coccidia in the racing baskets, where other carrier pigeons will defecate and your pigeons will get exposed to coccidia. In the older times, we used to say, no, it's only in young birds. We leave the older birds to get immunity and then they will be fine. They will be fine for survival, but they will not be fine for racing performance. For pigeons to perform at their peak, they must have coccidia under control. Young birds after weaning will ingest coccidia oocysts. And within six days, not before that, they will start showing symptoms of coccidia. Sometimes it will be a severe infection like we call, used to call going light disease where the bird will get thin and the bloody diarrhea will come out of the youngster and they will die of it. These days we don't see that severe forms so often. What we more see, more, most of the time we see a chronic infection where young birds just does not perform well. The reason is the coccidia damage the gut on the inside and then your absorption of nutrients through that gut will be 10% less. And what's more, the gut will thicken from the inflammation in it and it will weigh 10% more. So your pigeon will be at a disadvantage with coccidia. Even if he does not die or become sick of it. Dry lofts is a good practice, but it's not a guarantee that your birds will not get coccidia. Coccidiosis in pigeons always accompanies Salmonella paratyphus. It's two diseases that go hand in hand. Young birds or older birds sometimes do get infected with coccidia and then there's a communication between the coccidia parasite and the Salmonella or paratyphus that's in the gut and it will multiply and infect your liver. So if you battle with Salmonella, go and look for the cause of your disease with coccidia. We recommend that you treat your young birds six days after weaning with a coccidia treatment. There's basically only two types that's effective. The one is the older type sulfas and the other is the toltrazural uh, Baycox, Vcox and type of products. And important, if you treat your birds the first time, treat them again after a week because they will pick up the rest of the oocyst and it will start the cycle again. So it's important to treat them the first time twice and then we recommend one treatment every four weeks. The coccidia can survive most disinfectants. The disinfectants is not very effective to rid your loft of coccidia oocyst. That's where the practice of burning has come in in the old days. People used to wet the uh, lofts and then they burn it with a gas flame. It's good, but I don't think it's the best. If you want to use an effective uh, disinfectant against coccidia, uh, there's a product uh, on the market, a chlor dioxide, and 
it, it releases oxygen and it's safe to use and it's cheap. So have a look at your disinfectant that you're using and just check on the label if it's effective against coccidiosis, otherwise you'll be wasting your time. During the racing season, we recommend you treat your birds at least once a month for coccidia, all the birds. Like I say, they pick it up in the baskets, they bring it back, the gut gets damaged and then you've got salmonella as a secondary infection uh, after the coccidia. Our approach to coccidia treatment is a combination product. It's called Coxicure Plus. The plus is the essential oils that we add to it. And the essential oils that we add is also registered as a coccidia treatment. So what we do, we combine a Toltrazerol, that's a Bicox, with a natural four essential oils to make it more effective. And at the same time, it improves the gut health, it suppresses the salmonella at the very same time that you uh, treat for coccidia. It's important to treat the secondary infections at the same time. And what's of the utmost importance is to treat your birds young. Don't believe the rumor that Young birds must get coccidia and then they'll be resistant. Yes, they will be resistant, but they will be permanently damaged if they've recovered from a coccidia bout. We know in chickens they don't grow. You might as well kill them. They won't perform if they've had a severe infection of coccidia. Rather prevent it, treat it uh, once a month and keep your lofts dry and clean and disinfect with an effective disinfectant. And then you'll have much less problems with other secondary gut and liver infections from Salmonella. The product is Breakaway Coxicure Plus that we use. Uh, the dose is 0.2 mL per pigeon. You can dose it straight down the throat. You can put it on the food or you can put it in the water. It does not matter. It, 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 as long as every pigeon gets 0.2 mL in, and we treat for two or three meals consecutively. All the products under the Breakaway uh, logo is available from Breakaway at Dalbron directly. You can also find the distributors in Pigeon News, Davenis, or uh, on the website you'll also get the distributors closest to you. Thank you.